Good morning, everyone. Me again, Miss Ortega with Medical Coding Academy with some very exciting news today. Medical Coding Academy is now teaching the CPB and CPPM courses. We've had tons and tons of requests for these courses over the last several years, and now we are ready for you. While the CPC focuses strongly on medical coding, the CPB places major emphasis on the billing side of the profession. A quick side note, with Medical Coding uh, Academy, you must be a CPC or a CCSP prior to sitting for these courses. This may not be, you know, a prerequisite with other educational facilities, but it most definitely is with Medical Coding Academy. With the CPB, pretty much it boils down to you'll never ever do fabulous billing without medical coding guideline knowledge. So please take the three-day CPC course first uh, before, before signing up for this, this uh, CPB or CPPM or for any other credential um, or, or, or course um, because there is one prerequisite for all the other credentials with Medical Coding Academy and that includes the CPC. Uh, an important fact to know about the industry is that um, about one-third or 34 percent of claims that are received are rejected or denied daily. And even worse, 50 percent of the claims um, that are rejected or denied um, are never even resubmitted. That is a problem, and this course most definitely will turn that around um, and at the same time prepare you to sit for the national board exam. In a nutshell, the CPC or the CPC and the CPB go hand in hand. Remember, you are entering the medical billing and coding profession, so both courses together make you feel like one very well-rounded professional. I'm most definitely and highly recommend the CPB course to anyone and everyone, no matter your goal, um, you know, after, after having passed, taken the CPC course with us and passed the CPC. Um, same thing with the CCSP through AHIMA. And so now on to the CPPM, the Certified Professional Practice Manager. Uh, credential. This is the lady or the gentleman that runs the show, the backbone of the company, the leader, the, the one that everyone turns to, the go-to person who, who, uh, who oversees the production flow in all aspects of the company. The manager will do the training and, and the mentoring um, amongst the employees, the hiring and the termination of the employees, the accounting, payroll, uh, and even produce company uh, progress reports. Um, that's that's a huge port, port part of, of managing this credential. It just you know it, it just looks ravishing on a resume. It screams status and and exudes credibility. And even if you're applying for a coding and billing position, having the CPPM credential back behind your name at the top of your resume is going to place your resume uh, before all the other candidates. So don't ever, ever hold back or restrain yourself from attaining other credentials. Get them now, get them ASAP. There is no, no, no waiting period for any credentials with Medical Coding Academy. The only thing we ask is that you, ha you took the three-day course prior to any other uh, classes or courses. Uh, newsflash, Medical Coding Academy is no longer traveling these courses. We are now teaching the CPB and the CPPM in Dallas, Texas only. Because of this, our marketing department has laid out the schedule in such a way to make your travel to Dallas every bit worth your time and effort. Another added perk is that the CPB and the CPPM are being taught in Dallas back to back on the same weekend. We're teaching the CPB on Saturday and waking up the next day, the very next day, Sunday, and teaching CPPM. This way, the students can travel to Dallas and complete both, both courses in a single weekend. <clears throat> That's awesome, awesome news. Uh, we did that with, with, your, with you travelers in mind. Please note that the CPC pre-work will carry over to all other credential courses and or exams. Both courses, uh, both, but the CPB and the CPPM courses are one day courses. They typically, they typically will start at nine o'clock in the morning and um, until whenever we finish. 
So I'm, I don't like to quote a end time there. Just get ready for a very long day. I say that because I've had uh, groups where we finished at 5.30, at 6.30, sometimes at 7.30. I think once even at 8 o'clock. So it's really difficult for me to to quote an actual end time. Um, if you can find a flight leaving Dallas back to your hometown after 9 p.m., I think that's a safe bet. Um, you know, otherwise you want to book for for the next day to go back home the following morning. You're going to want to pack a lunch, uh, your drinks, your snacks, bring them all. Uh, we're going to go straight, straight, straight through. Um, the class will be, um, this class, the CPP and the CPPM, they're going to be typically smaller classes, more intimate, um, not, so, not so much what you've seen maybe in pictures of the CPC courses. Those are more full. Um, but not everybody takes advantage of these of these other specialty credentials. So please be that one person that jumps on all this alphabet soup and, and gets it done. Um, you know, once you experience a three-day course, you're going to um, you're going to trust us. Any skepticism will be, you know, completely wiped out after having attended a course with either my Mr. Jarius or myself. Um, you want to make sure that you plan your exam strategically. You may sit for these exams as early as one week after the course. You can you can take the class the, the two courses this weekend. Next Saturday is your CPB, and the following Saturday is your CPPM. So schedule the exams back to back, um, either here in Dallas, Texas, or back in your hometown. Remember, the sooner you take the exam, the better. For those of you testing in Dallas, please refer to your confirmation letter for the private index number that you're going to need in order to locate and book the exam with main proctor Joseph Jarius here in Dallas, Texas. If your goal is to is to you know do both um, both courses. So if you're confused and you don't know which credential to pursue after your CPC or CCSP, let me um, let me simplify it for you. So you know if your goal is to be a well-rounded medical coder and biller in the industry, then go for the CPB. Uh, if your goal is to be a manager, then go for the CPB and the CPPM. The reason I say that is because every good manager is going to want knowledge and need knowledge um, to the nth degree regarding coding and billing both. With these exams, uh, this is something new um, that, that, that you've probably never seen with before, with at least not with Medical Coding Academy courses, but with these two credential exams, the CPP and the CPPM, there will be 200 questions. You will still only have five hours and 40 minutes, but not to fret, because after you've taken the courses with Medical Coding Academy, you will be very, very well informed, well educated, and ready to answer these questions with no problem. Um, and for when you do have a problem, no sweat there because you've taken really great notes um, all throughout your, your, your medical coding uh, books that you'll always be able to refer to. The wonderful thing about medical coding um, is that you don't have to memorize codes. These are always going to be open book uh, tests. You will receive a beautiful certificate of completion upon um, completing the courses. So um, don't forget that. That's always a lovely, lovely little thing to look forward to upon um, completion. Lastly, I wanted to share with you all what I found on the AAPC 2016 survey. I was thrilled to see that the three credentials that earn members the most substantial salaries uh, included, well, in position number one was the CPCO. That stands for a Certified Professional Compliance Officer. That came in at a whopping $75,000 a year. Now, while that money looks incredible, um, I do want to let you know that this is this is a, a credential, not a credential. You can take the you can take the course anytime after the CPC course, but you'll you won't want to apply for a CPCO uh, position until after anywhere between two to three years um, in the industry. But get the alphabet soup, get it behind your name. It, it, it builds um, stature. Uh, but this one came in at seventy-five thousand. We are not ready to roll yet on this particular course. It is under construction, so check back in with us in the fall of this year to see if we've got that underway. Um, and ready to go. So number two, what came in um, the, at, as, as position number two as a credential that earned coders uh, substantially more money in the year of 2016 is the CPPM. That's your certified physician practice manager, the one that we've discussed in this video, coming in at about 67,000 a year. Just fabulous. 
Again, you may only be applying for a medical coder or billing position, um, but just having the CPPM back behind your name on a resume is going to build, um, uh, going to make the person that's looking at these resumes um, really have a newfound respect for you just coming in uh, to interview as, as a coder or biller, you know, in the beginning anyway. Eventually, you'll move really quick. In six months, one year, two years later, you're going to be looking out for um, and, and attending and applying for uh, manager positions. Position number three was the CPMA, the Certified Professional Medical Auditor. We've been teaching that for several years, and people have incredible stories uh, around you know how their career went after attaining the CPMA. Um, core, credential back behind their name. This one starts at about sixty-four thousand a year, um, but, you know, plus commission. So don't forget that. That's that's really really great income. The CPB um, and the CPC, coast to coast. Now it varies from state to state, but coast to coast in the survey anyway, it proved to be between forty-eight thousand a year to fifty-four thousand a year. Um, I say that, and then I also know very personal stories where some CPCs and CPPs have will have earned, you know, right in at right at or not right above sixty thousand a year, um, just straight out of the chute. So again, it all depends too on how you carry yourself in an interview, and we talk a lot about that in the three day CPC course. Um, the COC credential, while it's, on, while it's on my mind, that one came in on the survey at 60000 a year. This is a certified outpatient coder credential, and uh, this is the one that, that where the coder actually works over in the emergency room in the um, outpatient wing of, uh, of, a, of a hospital. Get excited. Get excited about this industry because, for once, it's not about your experience and it's not about college degrees. It's about the number of credentials back behind your name, otherwise known as the alphabet soup. Um, and that, my lovelies, is a God-given God uh, blessing to all of us. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, friend us on LinkedIn, and watch our uh, other videos to learn more. There is a video on our YouTube channel that is called um, Which Credential is Right for Me. Make sure you view that one because this goes over all the credentials that we offer in great, great detail. Thank you all for watching. God bless you all and stay tuned for more videos.